welcome to the first and so far only episode of Beverly Gourmand. I'm your host, Liz DeFury, and I'm the BevCam Community Engagement Manager. I have with me here, Red Rami, one of the owners of Early Harvest Diner here in the Cumming Center of Beverly. How are you today? I'm well, I'm well, thank you for coming in. How are you? Thank you so much for doing this with us. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, about the diner? Great. So, um, like I said, my name is Red Rami. I'm one of the owners of uh, Early Harvest Diner. Uh, we have this location, and we also have one in Wakefield. Um, we've been here in the Beverly uh, location for about six years now, and we've been in Wakefield for nine. Um, I personally have been in the industry for over um, 20 years. My partner, Jay, has been in the industry for probably just as long, and our partner, Mark, has... Um, culinary license and he's probably been around for 10 years so between the three of us we're going over 50 years of experience in the industry oh my god so was the the original location was in Wakefield uh, what what made you guys want to come to Beverly so um, the original location was in Wakefield um, we had a really good feedback in Wakefield we had a great time there um, and uh, I'm not sure who recommended us this location, but we started looking at uh, expanding, going to the second one. And uh, when we uh, looked around, this place kind of um, hit home. It was um, it used to be an American barbecue, I believe. So it was a half of a restaurant when we came in. So some of the stuff was already here, the layout. So it was easy to to, to vision our, our our restaurant here. And um, we love we love Beverly. It's a cute community. A lot of good restaurants. A lot of good competition. And um, it was kind of in between with um, all the three of us as far as location where we live. So it was good. It was a good location. Thank you. And you guys have grown quite a bit here. I know you started with uh, breakfast and lunch, and now you've expanded to dinner. Um, so what has the journey been like since, uh, since opening this location? It's been a little rough because, you know, the first couple of years was we're doing a great, we're a great trajectory. And um, since the beginning, we had, we had the idea of expanding our menu a little bit. So from breakfast and lunch to uh, doing a little bit of... Uh, dinner and then pizzas well you know obviously we know COVID came along and kind of stopped that for a little while stopped our growth so it was a few a uh, few years of uh, struggle there and then finally when we came back we uh, decided to go back on the drawing board and and get the menu going so that's been a little bit of a uphill battle but um but i think our loyal customers um love us so they give us a lot of uh, um, a lot of um, business so they're trying to keep us alive. So we're, uh, we're, we're putting our menu, we put our menu, the dinner menu, about uh, a year ago. And then um, since then, we've been uh, adding to it little by little. Would you say that the appearance of Schubert has really helped, you know, you guys become inspired to keep going? I'm just kidding. Oh, I was like, wait, what? Because uh, I, I saw the Schubert was, uh, crossing sign over I there. I brought my kids over to the park to see him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. I did. We're, we stayed there for about half hour, and we finally saw him pick out a little bit. Uh, it was good. It was very entertaining for a little while. So speaking of back to the drawing board, I noticed that your decor around here, and especially the the, uh, the menu over there, you guys have a real personality to the interior. Can you tell us uh, about, like, what, what's the inspiration behind some of um, the, the food choices and the names, and even just, like, the design of the windows and the menus? We'll start with the uh, the decor, um, basic minimalism. Um, we don't like to overwhelm uh, our, our people, our, our, but my wife takes most credit for the inside decoration, the colors, uh, the colors, the space in the, you know, everything you see around the windows. I mean, the uh, artwork or uh, whatever you want to call it, the light fixtures and stuff like that. Um, I take credit for the actual light layout of the uh, restaurant, like where the booths go and the bars and so forth. Uh, and then my uh, partner Jay, who's um, uh, uh, the uh, kind of the back of the house guy, he um, he's the one that does most of the menu as far as the food concerned, and, uh, all the dishes that go into it. Um, and then the windows and stuff on overall, we have a lot of input from all the staff. You know, the staff uh, we, we love working with them, and they they'll, they're around shopping and they'll find something. They'll say, "Hey, this will look good." buy it, bring it in and say, hey, I think it looks good on the wall. All right, put it up, see what happens. So there's a lot of people kind of coming in and helping out with the, with the design and the feel. But uh, we like basic, we like simple, um, easy on the eyes. That's kind of what we go for. And as far as food, we kind of take that on our menu as well. You know, we, we believe that if you get good product, good, good uh, start with good um, fresh ingredients, you don't have to add too much to it. You know, it's simple, goes a long way. Um, so we try to do that as well on our menu. 
I know you guys uh, definitely have some really interesting specials. I can't wait to take a look at the food and everything. Sure. Um, is there anything you want to uh, talk about before we head into the kitchen? Uh, well, I mean, um, stuff that's on our menu now, it's been kind of tested. You know, we, we love um, doing specials, you know, the kitchen guys the, or the um, even the front of the house. So you're saying we're the guinea pigs this time? Pretty much, yeah, absolutely, 100%. <laughs> um, so usually our staff comes in and let's say they're on vacation or let's say they, they go somewhere else and they find a dish that they like and they'll come in and say, hey, listen, we should try this. And um, our chef, it's usually, it's pretty cool by saying, sure, let's give it a shot. And then we'll put it on a menu and see what it says. People like it, we'll put it on. If they don't like it, we'll move on. It's, it's food is very easy and simple. You know, it's one of those things that's very personal. So only because you like it, only because if you don't like it, that doesn't make it bad. So it's a very personal choice. So it's really nice to just throw stuff out there and see what sticks. And I can say from personal experience, their food is really good. <laughs> but I'm just a local foodie. <laughs> we'll take that. Shall we head into the kitchen? Sure, yeah. So I'm very excited. So we have, um, this is our fresh dough that gets delivered every day. Um, that he'll be using our sauce that we made in-house from scratch. Um, um, were you surprised at all that uh, we had requested a barbecue pulled pork pizza? <laughs> I am because, um, you know, Beverly is such a uh, pizza town, you know, there's pizza places everywhere and then, and when we first talked about um, having pizza on the menu, everyone was like, dude, are you kidding me? There's pizza everywhere and it's like pizza places have been there for a hundred years. So, you know, we're really not trying to compete with like the the pizzas that you get for, uh, for uh, you know, for the Super Bowl or when you get 10, 15 pizzas for your family. Like we're mostly trying to compete with people that just want to have one pizza. It's really good, fresh dough, fresh ingredients. Um, so that's what we're going for. So you know, you're not gonna see us pushing, you know, 20 pizzas uh, on on, on um, Super Bowl or a football game. You know what I mean? That's not really what we're trying to push. We're trying to build a dinner menu where, uh, if you want to have a good quality pizza, you know, maybe have a beer, a glass of wine, uh, and you want to limit it to bring your kids over. So they have a lot of options and you'll be in and out and you're not, you know, you're not spending your paycheck where, you know, right now, uh, in our opinion, is that either you have like old school pizza places, which have great food, but they're really not like a night out type of type of restaurant. Or you can go to this brand new trendy pizza places where you go in there and the food is great, but you're dropping your paycheck because they're charging $35 for a pizza, you know? So it's kind of, we're kind of trying to go in between where you want to go out with your family, you want to enjoy yourself, you want to have some good quality food, but you also don't want to, um, you know, spend an arm and a leg. So that's kind of where we're going to. So that's our, that's our goal for, this, for the dinner menu. So now the hard question, what are some of your favorite toppings for pizzas here? I'm basics. I, I want cheese and maybe tomatoes. That's it. I don't, I don't like too many toppings. Um, so we, we do get some weird requests here and there, uh, you know, anchovies is one of them, and then... Um, Pulled pork barbecue. It's actually not, it's not as, 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 as weird as you think that is, you know, it, it's pretty good. Any protein, it's usually good on the pizza, um, but we do have some weird requests. Uh, what was the other day? Oh, wow, we had someone that wanted every cheese in the house. So they wanted the ricotta, the provolone, the mozzarella, and it was just, it was just, it was crazy. And was crazy. how many cheeses do you have? Uh, uh, I think so as Compton well, so we have American cheese so we have Swiss cheese we have provolone we have pepper jack we have mozzarella we have fresh mozzarella we have feta we have goat cheese I lost count tell me that that was not all on the pizza was that all on the pizza yeah, he wanted everything he wanted everything on the pizza and we were so curious that we actually made one after and tried it it was all right all so right. it was okay, okay. yeah yeah They'll make anything. That's right. You are, you're asking, we have it, we'll put it up there. That's it. Even pineapple. Even pineapple. I'm not biased. I'll put anything on it. Okay. I'll try it. Again, what I said earlier, I really believe that food is really personal. These are equal opportunity pizza makers. That's right. That's right. Food is personal, man. If you like it and we have it, put it on. Try it out. See what happens. If you don't like it, don't order it again. It's, it's that simple. I tell my kids all the time. Try everything, see what happens. If you like it, great. If you don't like it, don't order it again. That's simple. So all of our omelets get three fresh fresh eggs, fresh crock eggs, large uh, large eggs. Uh, I think Chino today, right now is making the, uh, you know, what are you making, buddy? Chicago. Chicago, he's making the Chicago omelet. He actually- um, That's new, right? Yeah, he's actually the one that came up with it. He came up and said, hey, we should try this uh, omelet. It sounds really good. 
looks amazing. So we put in a special, and it's actually serving really well. I mean, we're, like I told you earlier, we really believe in, in just trying different things. Uh, one of the sandwiches on the menu, it's, uh, it's actually my daughter's sandwich, uh, Ayla sandwich. Um, I was working late one night, and I had my laptop out, and, and she goes, hey, what are you doing? I said, I'm, uh, I'm going over the menu. So I'm taking out some of the stuff that's not working out, putting some new stuff in. She, she goes, can I come up with a sandwich? I said, sure, why not? Let's do it. So she came up with a sandwich, and I wrote it that night on the um, on the menu. Stayed on the special for about a year. People loved it. Now it's going to be printed out on the new menu. So, and that happens throughout the day. You know, uh, people come in and say, uh, um, "Hey, you know, I was at this restaurant, so I was I was on vacation, and these guys are doing this Mexican omelet, or this, they're, they're they're doing this special um, stuffed French toast, or whatever. Uh, you want to try it out, and we'll give it a shot. And and if it works out, it works out. If it doesn't," just another option to have you know so, so yeah so this is one of those uh, omelets he started making uh, it sells really well it looks really good the presentation he does a really good job with the presentation on it and uh, that's also a, a really big thing that we uh, take our pride on is, in, is making the food looks good look uh, looks um, because a lot of people eat with their eyes so if it looks good and it smells good and um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to taste better to you, regardless if, it, if it's not as good as you think it is, just because of the way it looks. And what is in the Chicago omelet? On the Chicago omelet, we have um, spinach, tomato, um, bacon, um, home fries, and your option of toast. I'm very jealous of who's going to be getting that omelet. Well, we can try it. Maybe there's this, yeah. So we can, we can give it a shot later. <laughs> Um, all right, so this is the uh, the cheese pizza that um, we just made in the back uh, about eight minutes ago. Um, uh, so right now we're focusing on our, um, as I mentioned earlier, the, uh, the dinner menu. So we're trying to do um, to push our after three o'clock, three o'clock uh, timing. Uh, we're really well known for our breakfast. Um, not that we don't want more breakfast business, but. Uh, we're just trying to focus on the dinner crowd. Uh, so right now, um, we're uh, really uh, hammering on our pizzas. That we, uh, we actually played around with the dough and the sauce for almost six months trying to figure out the, 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 the right amount of uh, ingredients to get it to go. And I think we're doing a pretty good job at coming up with a really, uh, really good taste of sauce. So I think you should try it. I think it's great. Um, and then, um, yeah, I'll serve you. How about that? Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Here we go. There you go. Oh my goodness, thank you. You're welcome. Um, you can have a slice too. I will, I will. It's just really hot though, so just be careful. It's really hot. Okay. Um, but uh, I like my pizza cool. Cheers. There you go. All right, I'll do that. Here we go. There you go. Cheers. Cheers. This is amazing. That's good pizza. I know it's mine, but it's good pizza. Um, and my um, my kids um. Oh, uh, my kids love pizza, so they were they were the guinea pigs. So they had a really good six months, uh, with me bringing pizza home every night. So they were happy about it. So we landed on this sauce that we're using now, which we make in house. Um, so it's a little bit um, a little a little bit mild because, uh, like I said, we're trying to push for the families. So we didn't want to go anything that's too I don't know fancy is the word, but you know, so you go to a lot of places that they you know put herbs on it like basil and stuff, which is great, but we're catering to the kids. Um, a lot um, and we're catering to people that kind of want to come with their family so we're trying to hit that middle of the ground where it's got flavors it's good but it's not over the top where where people are not going to enjoy it because it's got too much herbs on it or too much uh, basil on it so uh, it was hard trying to come up to middle ground uh, for that uh, but I think we did a really good job um, our uh, beef uh, actually um, now our burgers are tremendous I don't know if you've had them before but I have. they're really good um, yes, they are. <laughs> they and they're really, really good, good size. Yeah, we're doing about a, uh, half a pound of uh, beef in there. It's a mixture uh, of ch uh, chuck and uh, and ribs. So it's got a lot of flavor, a lot of juice. Um, and just like everything else, you know, we're trying it out. You know, people come in and say, hey, you should put this on a burger, you should put that on a burger. And, um, and we try it out. Uh, one of the things that we're doing on our burgers now, it's this um, bacon jam that we, uh, that we, that we make. Uh, it's really sweet, but it's got that uh, flavor from the bacon as well. Uh, so it's like sweet and savory. Um, and it doesn't sound good on, on paper when you write it out, but when you try it, it's absolutely amazing. Absolutely. The sweetness from the, from the jam and the bacon flavor to it is really, really good. But it's one of those things that if you didn't try it, you wouldn't know that it tastes that good together. Um, and then 
We're doing um, some rice bowls now uh, with the healthier cake. So we've got some quinoa mix there uh, with fresh vegetables and, um, and uh, either protein, like either salmon or chicken, trying to get the people um, they want to eat healthy. So we've got that going. Uh, so we're doing a little bit of everything. So we're trying to cater to when the family, family of four comes in and they have all four different taste buds, they should be able to find something on the menu. That's what we're going for. And this is a perfect size for a, for a family, and I, I'm very excited. I, I know you've got a couple of other dishes coming out, so we'll we'll get to see those. And this is this was amazing. <laughs> this was really good. Can you explain the wonderful jewels that are in front of us right now? All right. So um, right here we have a traditional Greek salad, which is uh, you know um, uh, iceberg lettuce. Cucumbers, uh, olive, black olives, um, red and green tomatoes. I mean, uh, red and green peppers, um, cherry tomatoes, feta cheese, and then we have our pita bread with three chicken kebabs. Um, our tomatoes and our some of our vegetables are uh, are um, locally grown, uh, especially in the summer. Uh, we have them um, from uh, Pasquale's um, garden. I believe that's what they called Pasquale Gardens. Um, anyway, so. Um, that's a traditional Greek salad. It's a big, big seller. Um, proteins right on top. And this is our Hungry K burger. A little stab in action going on right there. So we have the upside down bread, uh, upside down bun. We put both pieces of bun on the bottom. Um, we have the burger on top, cooked to any temperature you like. Uh, we have ham, we have bacon, we have cheddar cheese, and we have two over easy eggs right on top, served with a side of hollandaise sauce. You cut that right there and all that yolk comes right out on that burger. Do you, pour the sauce in? you could if you wanted the extra. Uh, I think it's good for the French fries. I think oh, you use it instead of ketchup. Wow. Um, yeah, I think it's really good. Um, I'll try one. You can try one if you yeah. like. Really hot. Yeah, um, that's a great idea. Yeah, <laughs> some something different. You know, try something different. Yeah. So, so you know, in the summer we sell a lot of the salads. Uh, everyone's trying to be healthy. Everyone is trying to you know um, get in shape. This is more of a, uh, uh, you know, kind of a late lunch, comfort food. Uh, comfort food, yeah, you know, after a long day. Um, so, but they're both really good and they're both feeling, you know, uh, our portions are really generous. You know, once you leave here, you shouldn't be hungry. Uh, that's the kind of what we go by. And, uh, yeah. These are both really amazing options and just looking at how everything kind of flows together with the flavors. The fries are very well seasoned. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> And uh, this looks like an amazing salad. Um, yeah, especially the chicken. That looks incredible. Presentation. It's big. It goes a lot. Yeah, long. you weren't kidding when you said presentation was that's a huge right. deal. That's right. The guys take, I know, the, guy, the guys in the back. They enjoy uh, what they do. Uh, we try to get our guys to, to be happy back there um, as much as we can. Um, they re, uh, so they really look forward to presenting their food in a way that people will enjoy. Like I mentioned earlier, people eat with their eyes as much as they eat with their stomachs. Um, so looking at something that looks good, uh, it, uh, it's going to make you uh, feel like it tastes even better. So as we were talking earlier about the community part of it, uh, there's something we do all year round, which um, I think I want to mention is that uh, we give a 20% off discount to anyone that uh, wears a uniform. So from, um, from police, firefighters, nurses, doctors, anybody that has a uniform on, you can come in any day of the week. And get the percentage off. You know, obviously military that's included in there, but uh, other stuff that people um, usually don't think about. They just think about the military, which is great, but they don't think about the you know the first res first responses, the um, firefighters, the police officers, and the stuff. Uh, you know, which do big stuff for for the community. So that's all year round. Um, and how do how do you prefer to to have this? All right. So I think we did a really good job with everything that goes on this burger. But for me personally, um, everything goes gets better with with hot sauce so i would sprinkle a little bit of this hot sauce right here which we make in house by the way it's delicious and that's the way i would eat it and i put this on everything pretty much um, but on eggs it's really good so um another thing that we're pushing for dinner besides the uh, pizzas and the burgers is our pastas so um great fresh made pastas uh, our in-house sauces um, fresh made meatballs um, just another dish for, for famous to share so that's another thing we're pushing. So, so far, dinner menus, uh, a little bit of everything for everyone.
And uh, I think I think that's a wrap. Um, what an incredible lunch, <laughs> or dinner, or leftovers, or <laughs> a, little a little bit of everything. Um, Red, thank you so much for having us here at Early Harvest Diner. Um, it's just been a wonderful time. And please, if you are going to come and visit, check out the BevCam Pizza, which will be on the menu that's soon. Right. That's right. Uh, so thank you for coming. I appreciate it. I uh, wish you guys the best of luck. Um, and yeah, we'll see you soon. The, uh, the pizza will be on the menu sometime uh, next week, right? Pork. Barbecue pulled pork. That's what we talked about. So put that on the menu. I think it's going to be a good seller. Thank you, guys.